Hey, what's up everyone? Today we'll be doing a cast testing video. That's right, I have the Microfly from Kingdom, the NV6 Microfly. And this is my first time taking it out to do a cast testing. I got some Cast King Finesse X8, six pounds. So it's their Sinister uh, newest braid. And um, I have the Aries from Surinoya, the C47 II Ultralight. So yeah, let's do some cast testing. Um, it's very interesting so far, this reel. Um, Definitely a lot different quality compared to other CDM reels. Let me show you guys a couple of things before we start casting. All right, let's start by talking about the drag. So if you put this drag on very, very light and you reel this, is this light? Hold up. You can feel that there's a stop once in a while. It goes smooth and then it, it stops again. It goes stops again, smooth, stops again. So um, drag system, uh, I don't know, a little saucy. Now you put it a little harder. There it goes. It's consistent for a little bit, right? Oh, no, it stopped. Did you guys just see that? What happened was it has a consistent and all of a sudden it just lost the drag and it goes back on. So, consi oh, consistent. This is like a little skip once in a while. All right, it's not popping up right now, so it's okay. Let me put it up a little bit more. As you get stronger on drag, it's okay. But yeah, when you put on a lo loose side, especially when you're fishing finesse stuff, there's some iffy stuff going on, all right? And the next thing I want to talk about is, all right, check out this handle. There is a little back and forth wiggle. It reminds me of the Casting Valiant Eagle, right? So you put a little stop, it actually goes back a little bit. Look at that. Look at my spool. Anyways, uh, that's the two things I want to show. Oh, wait, one more thing. If you guys didn't watch my unboxing video, right? Or if I'm even going to do an unboxing video, uh, there are no numbers here. There is uh, zero here and max on top, okay? And this is halfway, going at three o'clock. So you have max 12 o'clock, mid zero o'clock, and six o'clock zero. All right, we're gonna do some cast testing today. And um, yep, a few things before we start this cast testing session. The first thing I have is a trout magnet. I have Casking braided line. This is the Casking Cast Pro Finesse X8 at six pounds. All right, so trout magnet we gotta throw that and i don't know the numbers here quite honest and um i think we'll start off this way for a second and see what's going on so it does roll out this way and it rolls slower this way okay so uh going counterclockwise it is going to increase brakes right i think looks like it anyway let's put it halfway because you only could do like you know half right so first cast goes left like crazy no go let me Test this for a second. All right, I do have the tension set pretty good. No wobble. Let's lower the brakes a little bit more. It's a little windy today. It's gonna suck for the cast testing. All right, so I can get trout magnet out, but it's going to the left. So I don't want to count this. Uh, in order for me to um, count my cast right properly. Oh, it backlash too. It has to go relatively straight. And actually that one is not bad. It was just, um, it can't be controlled due to the wind. It is a windy day. All right. Uh, let me do it a few more times. And if I can actually make this a straight cast, I will measure it. But right now the wind is going eight knots. Oh, nope. I mean, it, it's okay distance, but I backlash a lot. So let me uh, put the brakes back up a little bit more. And we'll try one more time. Oh, wait, hold up. Let me just fix this. Cannot cast with uh, some of these uh, weeds on because it's gonna change the weight. One gram, right? Well, maybe a little bit more, 1.1 with that the clip on, all right? We're not gonna be uh, too precise. All right, so it's good. it went to the left, so I don't think I'm gonna measure it and I'm still backlashing. Don't uh, forget that I have the stock bearings on. So uh, yeah, likely most of these CDM, re CDM reels can't do the trout magnet um, with uh, the stock bearings. So uh, let's just say no go with the trout magnet, no measurements. All right, folks, the next lure is gonna be the EPF Swim. This is from Euro Tackle. I have a 132nd ounce jig head, size six hook, and a smaller one inch swim bait. Total weight is approximately 1.5 grams. Uh, probably a little bit more, again, with the clip on, but let's see how this goes. It's windy, but oh well. 
it went pretty straight. Um, let's cast a few more times. I do want to uh, change the braking. Right now I'm at 50% brakes. So let's see, let me lower this a little bit. Click two times below the middle. Oh, nope, backlash like no tomorrow. Uh, definitely don't want to uh, do two clicks below. So I do know that any time you go lower, like uh, pointing down to the six o'clock position, if you're going this way, that means the brakes is going low. Um, so yeah, I wish they marked it, but uh, let me fix this. I don't even know if I could fix this. <laughs> but yeah, braid like this. Oh man, it's gonna be tough. But uh, yeah, let me, let, me, let me just get this. Oh, I got it. All right, let's pull it through. So far, I'm looking at this and there is a gap. All right, so be careful when you guys are backlashing. You guys don't want to backlash with this. Nope, no, no sorry, you do not want to. All right, so one click under half. Let's try again. All right, it's going left again. Uh, the wind is blowing a little bit, but uh, I think it went left without even the wind, like the way that came out and the way that it uh, backlash. So, um, yep, it might be still a little bit too light for it, but I think it's still okay if you set very, very low brakes on and uh, cast super soft, which uh, I guess I'll attempt. Um, once again, one click under half, and I'm just gonna cast softer, all right? And that's the most accurate I have compensating with the wind. All right, fam, I decided to relocate to the other side of the pond. You can see the wind is a lot less here because of the trees and that little, the bank, you know? Uh, one thing that's interesting is it started raining. Barely any clouds. Well, there are some clouds over there, but low hanging clouds, but uh, let's see how things are. I'm gonna put my brakes back down low. I'm like two clicks uh, away from half. Let's see, soft cast. Uh, soft cast, I get pretty far out, but it backlash. So I don't think uh, this is a good reel for anything that's uh, 1.5 grams out of the box. You probably do need that micro bearings. So I'm gonna put the uh, brakes on one click under halfway. One more cast and hopefully there's no backlash. And you got thumb it. Oh yeah, I got thumb it, but it's pretty accurate. So let's just measure this. Finally get, uh, get our first measurement. Now note that I have approximately 120 feet of braided line on. So if you really want to throw these light lures, you could definitely, definitely throw this 1.5 uh, gram um, lure or you know any other 1.5 uh, gram lure, but you have a lot less line, all right? So anyways, let's start reeling and let's get some measurements. And hopefully I don't get hit here because I saw some fish to the right. Oh yeah, there's some fish chasing over there. But anyways, let's take a look. All right, so as you see, it's uh, roughly 29 feet, which is not good at all. Not good at all. All right, kind of expected, but uh, let's try something heavier, shall we? Next one is a Eurotyco Z Viber. This is the newer version of the uh, 116th ounce version. It's a lot smaller, but it's still 116th ounce. All right, so let's give this a shot. Let me just put that thing right there. And uh, I'm gonna leave it at that uh, one click under half brakes. And it goes to the left just a little bit, but it did go out pretty far. Let me just uh, straighten out the line just a little bit and let's give it another shot, shall we? Oh man, this thing is vibrating so nicely. I bet you if I have like a thin mono on, whoo, it probably slay. But yep, this is the world's tiniest rattle trap. And I'm gonna call it there because um, wind is coming and that was the most accurate. I would say that I could probably cast it a little further, but it's gonna start backlashing and I don't want to backlash. And um, yeah, I just don't want to backlash. That means it's a failed cast, right? So let me put this line right here on a counter. Oh, come on, get it right there perfectly. Do my reset. All right, let's start reeling this baddie in. I'll say it's gonna be close to 30, maybe. Um, that's odd, it's a little less than, um, what I had earlier. No, oh, okay, fine. Let's, let's do it one more time, one more time. I definitely want to cast harder. Screw that. Because, uh, you know, 1 16th ounce is heavier than 1.5, right? So it should be like around 1.8 here with uh, the clip on. Oh, let's do it one more time. And there's wind here right now. I mean, still not as bad as over there, but let's do it one more time, shall we? Here we go. All right, that went further, I believe. So let's measure one more time, all right? One more time. One more time. One more time. All right. So that. Come on. Show the fans. Show the fans. All right. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I'm talking about. It definitely was further. 
but it's not that far. It's um, 33.6, which is actually good because not a lot of CDM reels could cast this lure that accurately. And I was able to cast it accurately. And if you guys put thin braid on and you still can't cast lures this light, you know, it's definitely not the ultralight side of BFS. Can't say it's a bad reel, right? Because BFS is not, you know, do every single ultralight lure. You know, some ultralights, you could only go to X amount. And you could probably use it for great, you know, uh, power BFS fishing, especially for bass fishing, right? Net rigging, right? But uh, this guy right here, definitely um, hit down to the 116th level. But I would say it's not that far. And the brakes is a little bit iffy. A little bit iffy, all right? So let's keep moving on. All right, here we are. We got the Euro Tackle B-Vibe, two inch swim bait with a 16th ounce jig head. Uh, this is a size four hook. And this total is around, I think I have to say it's 2.6 to 2.7 grams. So this should fly, this should fly. So I'm gonna leave this at um, half, half breaks first. Oh God. Okay, half breaks, is, casting hard is not that great. And I wasn't like, you know, super duper hard. Uh, backlash, everything. All right, well, it's not that bad. Not that bad. I think if I thumbed it, it would have been okay. So let's cast it again with some thumbing and uh, it's raining again. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So, oh, wait. Pull off the hair. Oh, let's go. It's off. One more time. Thumbing. Oh, okay. So I had a lot of backlash, even with some thumbing, and I'm at half breaks. What's going on? All right. Well, I guess if uh, you have heavier lures and you need to cast harder, right? You definitely want more breaks, right? So I'm going to put one over half see how it goes and it's okay guys i think most of the time when i play with my bfs stuff is actually like maybe i don't know 60 percent breaks so let's try it again there we go oh i just missed the thumbing part right at the end right when it touched the water like one second too late but uh yeah it, this should be okay well like one click over for me so let me try one more time and let's see oh that guy didn't catch anything and he's gone I've been thumbing it a little bit at a time because it, it's still backlashing a little bit. Like it's over spooling. So let me put one more click going up. So it's two clicks past half and I'll try not to thumb it. Uh, it's going to the left. That's, oh wait, maybe because maybe the line got uh, stuck right there. Hold up. All right, note to self, put the, the line counter a little closer to the reel next time around. Yeah, I took it apart because I went trout fishing with this. All right, that's de definitely a little better. Let's measure this. But uh, I have to say, it's not that far. The breaking here is uh, probably compromised. All right, reset. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that far. By the way, guys, uh, one thing about using thin line and light lures with this uh, line counter, right? Don't reel too fast. When you reel too fast, what happens is when you stop, this thing still spins a little bit and you're gonna miscount for those who are doing YouTube videos. I know some folks have asked about this uh, line counter and um, I see a lot of people doing videos on BFS stuff, which is great. You guys are helping growing the BFS community, but let me tell you guys one more time, right? Don't reel too fast, all right? You can see that it slips out, the line slips out sometimes, but you know, this thing will continue spinning if you reel too fast. But anyway, uh, 38.9, so, um, not impressed, not impressed. All right, next lure, 2.8 grams, Yapada Spoon, because I'm not too impressed with some of the other stuff we throw in here. Let's throw the most condensed lure I have, and we could uh, potentially do another cast testing video another time with a, let's say a light tech or rod, because I don't think this is uh, the best rod to throw light stuff or, you know, even, I don't even know the heavier stuff. Cause right now I'm throwing heavier stuff and the breaking is not that great. But if I start throwing heavier stuff, you know, I definitely need a different rod, right? But, uh, yep, let's give this a shot and see where we go. I'm gonna leave it as is at uh, two clicks over half. All right, so it doesn't go as far as some of the other stuff, but let me just lower the brakes to half now and see if it goes further without backlashing. But at least you can throw a spoon, which means you can still trout fish with this, especially if you guys are spoon guys in the streams. Heck, I love to throw spoons. Oh, there's some backlash. It did go a little further and some of the stuff
stuff right there is really the wind blowing my line so i can't really count that so let me try to cast a little bit lower don't let the wind catch it and we'll measure because i could do it a half so it will give me the furthest so let me try one more time and give it a shot oh let me put this right here one more time oh nope it backlash this time oh yeah uh, that's not good it feels like a hard backlash oh, oh i got it yeah sometimes man backlash is no good and uh, then it's like the end of the video <laughs> glad i do have some extra line in the car all right one last cast but this time it's a little softer i am controlling with some and there is a lot of uh line bending so i'm gonna just do one crank just for the heck of it uh and then we'll measure but yeah i i, I don't know man this reel is uh, definitely interesting Fifty something, maybe. Oh, slow down. Don't want to overspin that. All right, good. Still have some tension on it. All right. Do 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 do. Here we go, and let's take a look. Sixty-one point seven. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen me cast this guy very, very far with many, many, many other setups. So, um, I think this tells a story about this reel. Well, guys, the cast testing video. What do you guys think? Well, some of you folks have asked me to uh, buy this and, you know, use it because there haven't been any reviews out there like that. And uh, I decided, you know, spend a little bit of money and just give it a shot. And uh, let me guys tell you right now, don't get it. Nope, not at all. I don't even plan on upgrading it to uh, micro bearings. There's so much quality issues with this reel uh, performance wise as well. I mean that copperish color looks kind of nice that little rose pink handle and the, the spool but other than that i don't think i even want to put thicker line on and do you know a light tackle rod fishing or a medium light for power bfs fishing uh because i really don't like it but uh you know if you guys really really got really want to see something out of it leave me a comment below uh I may consider it maybe in the winter time do a cast testing or maybe just fish it not even do a cast test you know, just, just just go fishing right I gotta go fish sometimes. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching this cast testing video. The fish don't wait. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button before those freaking honking geese take over my video, all right? Smash the like button, please.